Six, section one, angles of polygons. So for this section, there's one equation that we have to be really familiar with. And here it is. S equals 180 times the difference of N and 2. This comes from the interior angle theorem, which basically says if you have a convex polygon that has N sides, we use S to represent the sum of the measure of its interior angles. Um, basically, what we're saying here is if you count the sides of any convex polygon, if you count the sides, subtract 2, and multiply that number times 180, then that's going to give you the sum of all the interior angles. Let's take a look at some examples. We're going to start out with a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. So if we plug into our formula, So here we can see that if we measured all of the interior angles in a hexagon, we would have a 720 total degrees. Now using this same pattern, it doesn't matter how many sides the figure has, as long as it's a convex polygon. If I had something with 500 sides, I would literally use the same exact formula and I would put 500 here. 500 minus 2 would be 498 multiply that by the 180 and that would be the sum of all the interior angles. Now let's take a look at a slightly more complex example. Okay, so let's say you were presented with this figure and you were told to find the measure of each interior angle in this quadrilateral. So we know this quadrilateral is a polygon, it is convex, so we can use this same formula. So how many sides do we have? One, two, three, four. So we're going to take our Form, or, or, uh, formula here, S equals 180 times N minus 2. We're going to rewrite this, 180 times 4 minus 2 equals 180 times 2 equals 360. So now we know that all of these have to add up to 360. And now we're going to solve this just like we used to solve the um, the missing angle problems with triangles where we'd say 180 equals and then write down the three angles. We're going to solve it the same way. We know that they all have a total sum of 360 degrees. So 360 degrees, whoops, there should be a D there. 360 degrees is going to be the measure of angle A, in this case 3x, plus the measure of angle B, remember that's 90 degrees, plus the measure of angle C, another 90 degrees, plus the measure of angle D, which is x degrees. So now we just combine like terms, 3x's and 1x, that's going to be 4x. Notice I circle them as I go along, that way I can know that I've used them and I don't count things twice. If you have something really complicated, that'll help you out. 90 and 90 is 180. Now I'm going to take away 180 degrees from both sides. I end up with 180 equals 4x. And now I divide both sides by 4, and I end up with 45 equals x. Now, I'm not finished yet. Remember, the question wanted to know the measure of each interior angle, so each one specifically. So for the measure of angle A, I know the measure of angle A is 3 times x. So in this case, it would be 3 times 45, and 3 times 45 is 135. The measure of angle B, well, hopefully you don't really need to figure that out. That should be 90, and that's 90. We can tell by the notation there. Measure of angle C, 90. And for the measure of angle D, well, this is just going to be x alone, so this would just be 45 degrees. OK, so with this example right here, we're going to um, kind of work it backwards. It says the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 135. Find the number of sides. So here we're trying to actually figure out what n equals. We have everything else. Now, this is only possible because it says it's a regular polygon. Remember, regular polygons, when they are regular, the measurements are the same. All those angles are the same. So we're being told the angle is 135 degrees. So let's go to the formula. 
that we've been using, s equals 180 times the number of sides minus 2. Now, s, that stands for the sum of the interior angles. Now, we don't know the sum of the interior angles, but we do know that each interior angle is going to be 135 degrees. And however many sides there are, that's how many interior angles there are. So we could essentially say that if each one of these is 135 degrees, 135 times the number of sides, that would equal the sum of all the angles. We just don't know what that number is. So what's going to happen is I'm going to substitute for s here. I'm actually going to substitute 135 times the number of sides. These are the same thing. And I'm going to rewrite the rest of this. And now look, I only have one variable. So now I can actually solve this. First, I've got 135n equals, and using distributive property, I have 180n. And here, 180 times minus 2, that's going to be minus 360. Now, I'm going to take away 180n's from both sides here. When I do this, 135 minus 180, that's going to be negative 45n's. This is gone, 180 minus 180 is 0, and I have the minus 360. Now I divide both sides by negative 45, and by doing that, I get n equals. Remember, negative divided by negative is positive, and 360 divided by 45 is 8. So now I know that there are 8 sides to this polygon. So the last thing we're going to go over is called the exterior angle sum theory. Now, this basically says the exterior angles of a convex polygon they always add up to 360 degrees. It doesn't matter how many sides it has, anything from a triangle to a 20-sided 20 20, uh, figure, always adds up to 360. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a shape and you're going to have exterior angles. So let's say this is 120 degrees and let's say this is 100 degrees and this, let's say this is x degrees. Now, here you can see how the exterior angles are drawn. Basically, we take each one of these sides and just extend it in one direction all the way around. So the more sides you have, the more like a spiral this kind of looks. So in order to do this, you know that all of these angles, no matter how many there are, they're always going to add up to 360. So you start out with 360 equals. And then just simply write your equation. In this case, we know it's going to be 120 plus 100 plus x. 120 and 100, that is going to make 220. Take away 220 on both sides, I end up with 140 equals x. So this is going to be 140 degrees. And again, they could make this a little more complicated if they wanted to. For example, instead of having 100 here, they could say x minus 40 and just have 120 listed there and so forth. But this is basically how you solve them the same pattern, 360 equals, and then just solve your missing variable, plug in if you have to. And that's it for Chapter 6, Section 1. See you in class.